621A, lecture number 30. Announcements. Homework 8 is due on Wednesday. Project 4 is now due on Friday the 21st, extended one day from its original deadline. In fact, all of the different early submission points have been extended by one day as well. So, please submit questions 1 through 6 by this Friday, 1 through 16 by next Tuesday, and if you submit your final version of the project by next Thursday, you'll get a third extra credit point. Now, earning all of these together will also help you to start early on the project, which is a good idea anyway, but now we have a little bit of structure in order to encourage you to do that. This is important because the project is large, larger than any project you've done before in this course. And why did all these deadlines get extended? Well, they got extended because so many of you so kindly filled out the midterm survey. So thank you very much for that. Since more than 900 students filled it out, I decided to give you an extra bit of time for your project to make up for the time that you spent filling out the survey. So thanks for that. Please start working on the project as soon as possible. This deadline change wasn't just a gift to you. It was in response to several suggestions that students made on the survey that deadlines should be spread out. And I realized that we had a Wednesday deadline and a Thursday deadline right next to each other, and we could just extend those by moving Thursday to Friday and pushing everything else back, giving you a little bit more breathing room in between due dates. The other way I'm going to relieve some pressure about due dates is to combine homework 9 and homework 10. So instead of having a homework due right near the time that your project is due, I'll combine these two together and make them due the week after you finish your project so that you have some time to work on those. But I will release them in advance so that if you want, you can start working on them early. This will be a large combined homework which will be worth six points instead of the usual two. On Friday in live lecture, there will be a guest lecture by Andrew Huang, the course manager and one of the teaching assistants for the course. So if you're tired of listening to me, go listen to Andrew instead. Videos will cover the same material in the usual format. I've read many of your survey responses already, and you made several suggestions about how to improve the course this semester. One was not to make exams so difficult and discouraging. It's true, midterm two was quite hard. The mean was 28. Last year's midterm two mean was 31. So they aren't wildly different but it was one of the most challenging exams I ever wrote. Now look, first I'll say that even if you didn't ace the exam, you may have learned a lot in this course, and that's a good thing. Exams are only one component of the course. I know they cause a lot of stress, but that doesn't mean the course is not worth your while if you can't get a perfect score. The second thing I'll say is that we've attempted to design the course so that you don't need to give up. If you've been doing your projects and earning your midterm recovery points, it should still be the case that if you do well on the final exam, you'll do fine in the course overall, which is what I'd hope. So please don't give up. You, the students in this course are actually doing amazing things, demonstrating unbelievable knowledge and improvement over time. It's really fantastic to watch. And yes, there was this one hard midterm, but try not to let that bother you and instead focus on learning the material so that you can get ready for the final exam. And many of you suggested not to make the final exam so challenging as the midterm. Well, I can't promise that, but I will try very hard to make sure that the questions on the final are easy to understand as opposed to the ones on the midterm which many of you said were hard for you to understand what the question was asking. 
we'll look very carefully at that and make sure to do our best to give you as fair an exam as possible. Many people said there were too many adjacent deadlines. We've already worked on adjusting the schedule so that that doesn't cause you any more pain. Many people said that it was too hard to get help in office hours and homework or project parties because everybody shows up to ask the same question at the same time. Well, let me give you two suggestions. One, go to lab and ask your questions there. Next week's lab, of course, has a lab assignment, but you're welcome to use that time to get ahead on homeworks or your projects. So bring your questions, your TA will be there, your lab assistants will be there, they're always help, happy to help you out. You can even go to multiple different labs and get help all through Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Oops. I'm sorry that it's been hard to get help throughout the semester. We're doing the best we can, but honestly it's very challenging to make sure that the right support exists for the right students at the right time. So we will keep making it a priority to do better at that, but hopefully that suggestion will help. And another suggestion is to get started early on assignments, because crowding is particularly a problem the day that an assignment is due. You also ask for better guidance on how to solve problems, and we've been trying to construct that as the course goes along. Two great resources are the videos that Yuri Park made where she showed you how to solve the midterm exams. So if you took the midterms and were frustrated about your performance and you want to see how somebody who is a TA would go about solving those problems, please take a look at her videos which are posted on Piazza. So with that, I'll just say thanks again for filling out the midterm survey and we'll do our best to improve the course in the weeks that remain.